So today we're going to look at battery grips and how useful they are when using long reach tele lenses such as this Canon 28-300mm lens. As you can see this lens is big, it's heavy and on a standard camera it kind of feels well basically too big, too heavy, unbalanced and it's not ever so nice to use. Fortunately there is a way how we can use this lens on a camera and have a, ba a totally balanced setup that is comfortable to use and also nice. So let's see what this way is. So here we have a long reach lens on a standard DSLR camera. The eagle eyes people of you will have noted already that it's not the 28 to 300 on this, it is now the Canon 100 to 400, which is actually my favourite super zoom lens. It's on a standard 7D which in itself is a pretty big camera. If you use something smaller like the 6D, then uh, this setup feels even more unbalanced and is even bigger. If you extend the lens, this setup can become quite unwieldy and it's not ever so comfortable or very nice to use. As we said, there is a way around this and to make this a nice balanced setup, which is good to use, we use a battery grip here. This is a genuine Canon battery grip and it is the second one I have bought for this camera. My first battery grip I bought from eBay and it was one made by Newer and uh, it was cheap, cheerful and to be honest utter rubbish and I would not recommend a Newer battery grip. I've seen other third party battery grips which are a lot cheaper than this. This is actually quite expensive and also I would never recommend one of those either. If you want a battery grip for your Canon camera or indeed your Nikon camera I suggest you buy the branded, the branded battery grip because it will fit and it will work as it should do and the quality is very good and it will last too. Putting the battery grip on is easy, you simply where the battery goes, chuck it in, turn the thumb screw so it's nice and tight and hey presto, there we go. Right, with the battery grip the whole setup is a lot bigger, there's more bulk and it's obviously heavier. Some people don't like extra weight and bulk, but then considering the 70 is a pretty big camera in the first instance, the 100 to 400 lens is huge and also very heavy. That little bit of extra on the bottom really doesn't make that much difference. So with this setup, I can now comfortably hold the camera with one hand, I can carry it, and when I put it up to my eye, it just feels nice, it feels balanced. It, the whole thing just is a lot nicer to use and as a result you get better photos using it. Some people seem to think that with a battery grip you need to use two batteries to make it work. However, this is not the case. This battery grip here will work with just one battery in it, although I always use two for mine. But if you've only got one battery or you don't need two or you want to save a bit of money, then one battery in this grip will be fine. The other good thing to know about this battery grip is that you can shoot in portrait mode easily. Turn it up, it's got a nice moulded hand grip there, grip it, you've got the shutter button there and you've got the auto focus buttons and also this focus select points there. With this you can pull the camera up to your eye and take portrait style photos nice and comfortably and without fear of dropping your camera which was always the case without the battery grip. So there we have it. If you want if you use super zoom lenses or big lenses and you want a nice balanced setup that is comfortable to use, one you can use for uh, portrait mode as well as landscape mode, then you really do need a battery grip. Once again Stay away from the cheap and nasty newer ones and the like from eBay and Amazon and always go for the genuine one for your camera which is obviously Canon in this case or Nikon if you shoot a Nikon camera.